I'm Jealous Fist, your number one airdrops retreat. And today I have one suggestion for those of you born in barns about leaving doors open. A very handy demonstration of salutation and fake glint implantation as well as a very special series of tips on seasonal phone duel challenges, five in total, all packaged and delivered to you, my nerd Weegians. By my count, that's eight tips, all guaranteed and backed by the full faith and credit of the Vigor Gods to help you live longer and exit with more love and loot. Welcome to Norway. You are in the drop zone and I am Jealous Fist. Yes, I am. And today, we're talking tactics. Tips only. Where we discuss little tips just to see how they feel and then we pull out of here. This video, as is all content, is brought to you by JealousVist.com. Check it out. It's the best video game website in the business. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Close doors behind you as you enter and leave buildings. Seeing that open door in that time and place in the church gave me strong suspicions he was still very close. I wouldn't have pinged and caught this guy up here if I wouldn't have seen this door wide open. Don't leave doors open unless you're confident that you can handle something and you don't care. Or if you're just trying to loot and scoot. If you're just looting and tooting and trying to get to scooting and get out of here, close those doors. There's nothing good that can come from leaving the doors. It's just a big signal that somebody's in the area. And then if somebody's experienced and they know the spawns and they know the run times and the good times that people will be around or headed to certain points of interest, right? It's kind of hard to explain exactly what I mean, but when you've got a lot of experience and a lot of game time under your belt, you just get this inherent understanding of where people can be or where they should be or where they would like to be, right? There's a rhythm and a flow to every game in this game in Norway. And when you play it a lot, you can just tell things, right? It sounds stupid to say it like that, but you just get this game sense, this extra sensory Norway perception that comes in very handy. So that's a long way of saying it. Um, just keep those doors closed. And uh, please excuse that tea bag right there. That was simply so that I would know when I was editing this footage that he had died because you could hear him die in there. And I love that. Love it. Love it. When a guy gives you a genuinely good fight, displaying skill and that he knows how to move, give some clear, for real, not in a jerk way, respect. Give him a salute. If you are on the other end of this from me, I do mean it in a respectful way. This man fought well, and the fight could have gone either way. I didn't beat him, I killed him. And I only pray that his sons understand that. After throwing more than a couple grenades, enduring loud explosions, and even louder locked container klaxons, one might find oneself tired, irritable, and in extreme cases, a marked threat. Goodness gracious. Don't let your lack of energy, abundance of success, and your pretty red skull turn you into a Norwegian jerk. Remember to leave nice fake glints for the souls of the vanquished, taking care to place them properly, and a respectful salute as you make your way out. It's the decent thing to do here in Norway. When your phone duel is near and the disruptive towel is handy, use it to blind the duelist. You can see his phone call, but he can't see yours. This guy waited in the open, in broad daylight, fog light, expecting me to walk right into him, thinking I couldn't see him either. Even if you don't know your phone duel hit disruptive, you must assume he did if he was prowling nearby the thing. Also, make sure to ring again. It could work out real, real nice. Want someone else to do the dirty work of telesales? Game start is the most dangerous time in the game because there are the maximum amount of guns on legs running around our good green Norway. Answer or call as soon as the game starts and you have a good shot at someone else taking the shot for you. This is an especially useful thing to do. Again, you're gonna see a theme in some of these tips today of People who you want the challenge, you want to complete the challenge, but you're worried that you might not actually be able to complete the challenge. So this is a tricky way to do that. 
answer a call to the phone right here at the beginning of the game and you have a good shot of somebody else just killing that guy. Another smart thing to do is to immediately ring the phone again if it ends up working right away in the beginning of the game like this did and I think I did do that later on in this game. Being a telemarketer in today's Norway is very time consuming. Save yourself the time of completing the burdensome seasonal challenge call center which requires answering a ringing phone 30 times just like I did here. All I did was ring the phone and then immediately run to another phone because you cannot answer a ringing phone that you yourself rung from the phone that you rang it from if that makes sense. So I just ran directly to uh, another ringing phone and uh, just spammed hitting X over and over and over again. This footage was taken after the seasonal challenges hotfix, fixing them, not counting. So this still works even after the hotfix. This is a good tip for you, those of you who are scared of combat. And if you're super scared of getting in a lot of fights and answering the phone, why don't you just do this? It works, so that must mean it's legal. When engaged in a deadly phone call, once you're within 40 meters or so, I'd say don't check your map. I've learned this good and hard probably 100 times and I still do it. You can lead a Norwegian to a bottle of reindeer piss, but you can't teach him to drink it. Like I was saying, when you're within about 40 meters or so of your phone duel, don't stop to check your map. You know where he is. You see him on the compass. You know he's right in front of you. Don't try and get too cute. You see me screwing up here once, and then again, as we get up closer, I will again. I should have never done this. He's like right in front of me. I could tell from the compass, I already knew he was close. I should have assumed he would come at me. I ran right at him. That was very foolish, very foolhardy. I should have taken a little bit of extra care, a little more time, but I was overconfident and greedy, frankly. Greed is the number one killer of Norwegians. Don't be that dude. Don't do it. You're the phone ringing, but don't care who gets credit. You have a duo partner whose blood runs hot with the rage of his Viking ancestors. If so, answer the phone. Lay down on a nice fuzzy Norwegian blanket on the snow and stay in your map. Make sure to mark in real time on your map your phone dual position with every blink and make sure to verbally confirm he stayed or moved. This is a fun tactic for team play. I'm telling you, I love to do this. Snake loves it, well he especially loves it because he is a vicious, bloody, and brutal killer in this game. He is a total monster and I love it. And uh, if you see him in a lobby, you should probably stay away. There you have it. Eight fun-filled facts and tips. In this video, we didn't go as deep or as hard as we normally tend to do here on Tactics. But tips only does feel very nice. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. If you'd like some help on learning to tame the notorious and game-ruining recoil of Vigor's weapons, then click the link up there for controller settings help. Check out JealousFist.com and please like and subscribe. And most importantly, share and comment. Follow me on Twitter for a chance at free Vigor stuff and the Vigor Gods dispense new goodies. At Fist Jealous. Also, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the new format because, as always, I am your number one airdrop search read, 13,000 and counting, all time, all systems, and your favorite official Vigor partner's favorite official Vigor partner, Jealous Fist. Bye.